Well, a landmark exhibition now open at the Brooklyn Museum celebrates the fashion of Africa over the past 60 years. It begins by showcasing the designers who came to prominence there during the middle of last century. It was a time when more than 50 countries finally gained their independence. And the result, says entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon, was a stunning explosion of culture that still resonates today. The thrill of liberation is obvious in the fabrics and colors of Africa fashion, the largest such collection ever shown. More than 300 items from a time when colonial rule was ending, when new countries were being born. Post-independence, individuals were then able to reimagine who they were through their sense of style. Ernestine White Mafetu and her associate, Anissa Malvoisin, reminded me that just a few years earlier, black citizens had been... Confined by colonial restrictions of the past, where what you wore, your cultural attire, was taboo. It was only after freedom had been secured that their leaders could show the way forward by tapping into tradition, and designers were finally able to express themselves freely. So they start to amplify the use of traditional textiles um, and include that into their designs. How that evolved is apparent in the exhibit's largest room, featuring 40 contemporary designs. What we're looking at in this particular space is the culmination of this idea of independence and freedom. Innovation came in front of and behind the camera, so there's plenty of photography alongside the fashion, and at a special store, you can even shop nearly 100 African brands, a fitting end to a rare and wonderful experience. I think that the visitor will be completely stunned and encounter a lot of joy and celebration. At the Brooklyn Museum, I'm Sandy Kenyon, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.